He has been in office for just a year and a half. And during that period, Governor Simnalai Fubara has fought many battles. It's been a turbulent period that has seen him fall out with his immediate predecessor, survive betrayals and deliberate attempts by forces within and outside the state to sabotage his administration as well as an impeachment plot. A lot of you might not understand what happened on the 30th of October 2023. It was an assassination to the people of the state indirectly assassination to me. They can't kill every one of you, but they need to kill one person so that everybody will be declared dead. But somehow, somewhere, by the special grace of God, and the God that we are thanking today, what they meant for it, God turned it to good. Despite the onslaught against him, the governor has remained peaceful, urging all parties to put the state above every other interest. In the interest of peace, Governor Fubara has gone as far as accepting a lopsided agreement brokered by President Bola Tinubu. But that has not stopped the attacks from coming. We did everything that has to do with those, those conditions. We went to court immediately. We threw our matters. And you call yourself hungry when you cannot even obey simple instruction. And you say, that's what is the problem. I the problem. It was because we withdrew our matter. Even the matter you fired, and we said we don't want to continue. You took advantage of it and went and got judgment. And you, you see, you, you claim, is it not fraud? You are not, you ought, you ought not to come out and talk to people and people listen to you because it shows that you are not honorable. As a honorable person, I, I, I acted as, as a honorable man, believing that the agreement should be what we should strengthen. Despite all that's happened, the River State Governor says he has a lot to be thankful for. He has therefore decided to organize a day of thanksgiving to show gratitude to God for helping him triumph over his challenges and for setting the state firmly on the path of peace, unity and prosperity. They said they are not going to do anything. We want to frustrate them in a, in a program in the U.S. They said we are going to make them the loss of sin. By the special grace of God, we are back to projects. We didn't end there. We have shown prudence that we are not here to steal your money. That we are here to give accountability. And to yesterday, you saw it. It was declared that the United States transparency and accountability kept them in number one position. Who is the winner? Who is the winner? So you don't need to bother about the stories that are in social media. That one is the least of your trouble. By tomorrow, I'm still going to pay my contractors. By tomorrow, those of you that have not gotten your salary, whatever the salary, you are allowed to get from you. The governor says he couldn't have done it without the support of the people. While promising to defend the interests of the state, Simnalai Fubara is also vowing to make the people proud by building a legacy generations to come will remember him for. Ooh.